Have you ever stood at the crossroads of life, torn between diverging paths of what's easy and what's right? This is an experience most of us are familiar with. It's at this juncture where life's most crucial decisions are made, where we decide the course of our journey and where we define ourselves. Life is a series of choices. Each choice we make, each path we take, shapes our story, our character and ultimately our destiny. But how do we navigate these crossroads? How do we choose the right path when every direction offers its own challenges and rewards? Here's where the ancient philosophy of Stoicism comes into play. Originating from the bustling markets of Athens and the power corridors of Rome, Stoicism teaches us to live according to nature, to accept what we cannot control and to focus on what we can. It's a philosophy that champions virtue, reason and self-control. One of the most revered practitioners of this philosophy was Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who ruled at the height of the empire's power. He wasn't just a ruler, but also a philosopher, a thinker, a man who pondered deeply about life, death, and everything in between. Aurelius's thoughts penned in his private journal later came to be known as Meditations, a timeless beacon of wisdom that continues to guide millions around the world. Aurelius teaches us that at the crossroads of choice, we must always choose the path of virtue, the path that aligns with our true nature. He tells us that the right choice may not always be the easiest one, but it's the one that will bring us peace, fulfillment and tranquility. So as we stand at our own crossroads, let us remember Aurelius's teachings. Let's embrace the challenges, let's make the difficult choices and let's stride forward with courage and conviction. For it's in these moments of choice that we truly define who we are and what we stand for. Just as Aurelius did in his lifetime, we too can navigate our life choices with wisdom and tranquility. In the heart of Rome, amidst grandeur and power, Aurelius practiced an art often overlooked, the art of letting go. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, held a deep understanding of the transitory nature of all things. He was a man of power and prestige, yet he lived by the principles of Stoicism, focusing on the very essence of life and pushing away all that was unnecessary. Aurelius understood the ebb and flow of existence. He saw the rise and fall of empires, the birth and death of men, and through it all, he maintained an equanimous mind. His life was a testament to the Stoic philosophy, the belief that we can't control everything around us, but we can always control how we respond. Aurelius often wrote in his meditations, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. He was a master at letting go of things that didn't serve him, things that clouded his mind and distracted him from his true path. Now imagine if we could apply this philosophy to our lives today. Picture a life where we could let go of unproductive worries, the desire for constant social approval, the endless pursuit of material wealth. Imagine the freedom we could experience, the tranquility we could attain by simply letting go of the unnecessary. This is not to say that we should abandon our responsibilities or desires, but rather we should identify what truly matters to us and let go of all that does not. It's about understanding that our happiness and peace of mind are not dependent on external factors, but on our inner state. Just as Aurelius practiced this art in the heart of Rome, we too can practice it in the midst of our busy lives. It's about learning to navigate through the noise, discerning what's essential and letting go of the rest. It's about understanding that we are not defined by our possessions or our social status, but by our actions and our character. Indeed, the art of letting go, as Aurelius knew, is a key to tranquility. What then should we cut out of our lives, according to the Stoic philosophy that Aurelius so faithfully followed? Firstly, unnecessary desires. Aurelius was a Roman emperor, yet he lived a life of simplicity. He could have indulged in all the luxuries his position offered, but he chose not to. He understood that these desires were not essential to his happiness, so why waste energy on them? Secondly, we should cut out negative emotions. Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. He believed that our reactions, not the events themselves, cause our distress. By controlling our reactions, we can eliminate negative emotions. 
Thirdly, we should let go of worries about the future. Aurelius believed in focusing on the present moment. He said, never let the future disturb you. You will meet it if you have to with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. In other words, worrying about the future is futile because we have all the tools we need to deal with it in the present. Fourthly, we should cut out the need for approval. Aurelius didn't care for the opinions of others. He understood that approval is fleeting and dependent on people's ever-changing moods and thoughts. He believed in self-validation and the power of one's own judgment. Fifthly, we should eliminate the fear of failure. Aurelius saw failure as a stepping stone to success, not a pitfall. He believed that each failure taught him something new and brought him one step closer to his goals. And so, we continue on our journey of cutting out. From holding on to the past, to the illusion of control, to the pursuit of material possessions, to the avoidance of discomfort, and finally to the fear of death itself. These then are the unnecessary burdens that Stoicism advises us to leave behind. So as we stand at the threshold of 2024, how might we apply Aurelius's teachings to our own lives? The beauty of Stoicism lies in its practicality. This 2,000-year-old philosophy, despite its age, remains remarkably relevant today. Let's delve into how we can incorporate Aurelius's teachings into our daily life as we step into 2024. One of the key tenets of Aurelius's wisdom is the pursuit of tranquility, a state of calm and peace that can be achieved by eliminating unnecessary worries. As we navigate through the turbulence of 2024, let's practice letting go of things we cannot control. This could be as simple as not getting flustered by the traffic jam on your way to work, or as profound as accepting the inevitability of aging and the transience of life. Another Aurelian principle is the cultivation of virtue, the highest good in Stoic philosophy. As we journey through 2024, let's strive to be more patient, more understanding and more compassionate. It's about practicing kindness, not just towards others, but also towards ourselves. Aurelius also taught us the importance of living in the present moment. The past is gone, the future is uncertain, but the present is all we truly have. As we move through 2024, let's make an effort to be fully present in each moment, savouring life as it unfolds rather than getting caught up in the whirlwind of what-ifs and if-onlys. Lastly, let's remember Aurelius's emphasis on self-reflection. Regularly taking time to reflect on our actions and thoughts helps us to stay aligned with our values. As we traverse 2024, let's ensure we carve out quiet moments for introspection to ensure we're living in accordance with our personal philosophy and not merely reacting to external circumstances. In the end, the wisdom of Aurelius and the Stoics can guide us to a life of tranquility and fulfillment. So, as we step into 2024, let's carry these lessons with us, using them as a compass to navigate the highs and lows that the year might bring. In the grand scheme of life, every choice we make shapes our reality. A simple yet profound statement, isn't it? It's a testament to the power we each hold within us, the power to shape our own destiny through the choices we make. Every moment of every day, we are faced with decisions. Some are as trivial as deciding what to wear, while others are as monumental as choosing a career path. Regardless of their magnitude, each choice we make is a brick in the foundation of our existence. The teachings of Marcus Aurelius, a notable figure in Stoicism, echo this sentiment. He believed that our lives are not determined by what happens to us, but by how we respond. That is to say, our reactions, our choices, are the true determinants of our reality. This is not just a philosophical concept, it's a practical guide to navigating the turbulent seas of life. Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This is a call to conscious choice making. It's a reminder that we have the authority to choose our response, our thoughts, our actions. We have the power to choose whether we let external circumstances dictate our happiness or whether we find peace within ourselves, regardless of the world around us. But how do we harness this power? It starts with awareness. Recognize that every decision, no matter how small, contributes to your life's tapestry. Then, 
Make each choice deliberately, with consideration and thoughtfulness. Choose actions that align with your values, that contribute to your growth, that lead you to tranquility. And remember, the power of choice is not about controlling every aspect of your life. It's about accepting that you can't control everything, but you can always control your reaction. It's about finding serenity amidst chaos, wisdom in adversity, and strength in vulnerability. As we journey into 2024, may we, like Aurelius, make choices that lead us to serenity and wisdom.